Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi guys. There's this common misconception that if you're breastfeeding or pregnant, then you're automatically exempt from fasting in the month of Ramadan, which is absolutely false. It's not true. Just because you're breastfeeding or pregnant does not give you an automatic pass. However, if you're fasting and breastfeeding or pregnant and it's dangerous and harmful for your baby or for yourself, then in that case, you are exempt from it and you don't have to fast and you can make it up later. Islam prioritizes health above everything. So if you fear that your health is going to be impacted or the baby's health is going to be impacted, then most definitely do not fast. And the only person that can make that decision is you, yourself, and you. So consult with a doctor, consult with your local scholar or a mufti, and come up with a plan. See if you're able to fast, and if you're not able to fast, just make it up later. For example, during Samara's time, I was able to fast like every other day, and it was okay, and my doctor gave me the clearance to fast as well. But with the twins, <laughs> I asked my doctor, I was like, oh yeah, so Ramadan is coming, can I fast? She's like, no, don't even think about it. So then I did not fast with the twins when I was pregnant with them. But when I was pregnant with Samara, I was able to do it. And many women are actually able to fast uh, while they're breastfeeding or pregnant. And it is possible. But obviously put your health and your baby's health number one. And to be honest, personally for me, I find it easier to fast when I'm pregnant versus when I'm breastfeeding. Because with breastfeeding, I feel so thirsty. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Hope this helps. Okay, bye.